dear students uh, till now in the chapter statistics and probability we have studied about various ways of uh, representing the data graphically i hope you have uh, learned how to make a histogram and read the histogram also you have learned how to make a pie chart that is a circle graph and uh, retrieve information from a circle graph. Uh, today we are going to start the second half of the chapter, which is named as probability. Now, what is this probability? In your daily life, you must have used words like probably, most probably, or uh, there is a chance of something, there is a 50-50 chance, or chances or likely it will happen things like that so all these words comes under the topic of mathematics which we call as uh, probability uh, my dear students uh, in your class uh, we would be studying the experimental approach to probability so associated with the experimental approach here comes a unique word called experiment. So in this chapter, we are going to understand what is an experiment. When do we say the terms like trial, event, and outcomes, and how we calculate probability of an event when we perform an experiment that we are going to study in this chapter. So let me take you to my writing board. I hope you all can now see the screen where the board has been placed. OK, so now you can see probability here. So we have discussed that you use the word most probably. Can you frame a sentence? in which the word most probably is used. Just think and tell me. Can you tell me a sentence? OK, it might be like most probably the special guest will arrive today. OK, then uh, use the word this chance or chances in a particular sentence. Can you cite one example? Yes, we can say that. Chances are that there would be a holiday on a coming Friday. Yes. So basically, when there is a possibility, probability, then we use certain words. Most likely, it will rain tomorrow. OK, so these are the words which we commonly use in our daily life. OK, so now I'm going to share with you the definition of the word experiment. So what is this experiment? So the word experiment means when we perform an action, then that action produces certain specific outcomes, right? So let me write down the definition. The definition says an action which can produce some well-defined outcomes is called an experiment. So you can write down in your notebook an action which produces certain well-defined. I will explain the meaning of the wor word well-defined. Well-defined outcomes is called an experiment. Say, for example, when we toss a coin. So what are the possible outcomes? When we toss a coin, we either get a head or a tail. So when we toss a coin, you can write down when we toss a coin, we either get a head or a tail. So this head and tail, these are outcomes and these are well-defined outcomes okay either we get a head or we get a tail and interesting thing is both these outcomes are equally likely what do we mean by the word equally likely 
I'm using here, I'm just writing here so that you can uh, note it down. So what, what do we mean by equally likely? So there is a equal chance that either you get a head or you get a tail. Let me give explain this uh, equally likely by taking another example. When we roll a dice, you must have uh, seen a die. When we roll a die, we can get numbers from 1 to 6. And the chance of getting 1 or chance of getting 2 or chance of getting 3, 4, 5 or 6 is the same. So we say all these outcomes are equally likely okay now i am going to give you an example where you are not getting equally likely outcome can you give me one example and in that case we are not going to you know find the probability we cannot find probability of those uh, outcomes cases experiments where the outcomes are not equally likely say for example you go to a shopkeeper and you ask for a fan okay and the shopkeeper says that uh, fan will fall or fan will not fall what are the chances can you suggest that fan if the shopkeeper will say fan will fall or fan will not fall chances are 50 percent that means these are equally likely. Would you like to purchase the fan? You will not. So the, that particular event is not equally likely. And we are not going to find the probability of such experiments or such events. Right? So falling of a fan is not equally likely. So it does not give equally likely outcomes. Okay. Now I am going to use a word trial. So what do we mean by the trial? So basically, when we perform an experiment, now you know what is an experiment. So when we perform an experiment, please write down. When we perform an experiment, it is called a trial of the experiment. It is called a trial of the experiment okay now you see if we consider this uh, example again that when we toss a coin uh, the two possible outcomes are either head or a tail so tossing a coin is called trial of the experiment so I'm just writing, tossing a coin is called trial of an experiment. Okay, now in this trial of an experiment, an outcome of the trial is called an event. Now you tell me in this case, tossing of a coin, what are the two possible outcomes? It is either getting a head or getting a tail. So getting a head or getting a tail is an event. So I'm writing here, you please note down, an outcome of the trial is called an event. So we will be now defining these three terms number one experiment related to the experiment we say trial of the experiment then you i am now taking an example to tossing of a coin so when we toss a coin either we get a head or a tail so tossing of a coin is called trial of an experiment and the outcome of the trial is called an event right so let me move on to the next board so here, uh, we will be writing all these uh, terms. 
and try to understand when we have to toss a coin tossing a coin so what is this tossing a coin this is trial of an experiment trial of experiment tossing a coin what are the outcomes you can write down outcomes are either head or a tail and what are the events there are two events number 1 getting a head getting a head and the second event is getting a tail fine so now we are going to see what is the formula for finding the probability so probability of an experiment or trial of an experiment is defined as we write the formula as number of the favorable outcomes number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of possible outcomes of the experiment total number of possible outcomes of experiment right please note down this formula how do we find the probability so probability of an event is number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of possible outcomes of the experiment so let us uh, do some examples okay i am now writing trial of experiment again tossing a coin right when we toss a coin what is the number of possible outcomes number of possible outcomes this will be equal to 2 because either you can get a head or you can get a tail if i ask you find the probability of getting a head so what is the formula probability of getting a head is number of possible outcomes so what is the possibility that we get a head 1 so number of possible outcome is 1 divided by how many total possible outcomes are there two so what is the chance of getting a head is 1 by 2 similarly probability of getting a tail so favorable outcome is again one so number of favorable outcome is 1 divided by total number of outcomes it is 2 so answer is 1 by 2 right okay let me take uh, another example now we are considering tossing a pair of coins interesting so when we toss a pair of coins what are the possible outcomes can you tell me you are you are having two coins with you so what are the possible outcomes so the cases are both are head either you get head and tail or you get tail and head or you get both tails right now you tell me what is the probability of getting both heads both are heads so what is the possible outcome number of possible outcomes you will say 1 divided by and how many total outcomes are there 4 so answer is 1 by 4 okay now you tell me what is the probability of getting 
one head and one tail. How many cases are there? Yes, there are two cases. So two possible outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. That is four. So the answer is one by two. Okay, now you tell me what is the probability of getting both tails? Yes, it is one by four. I hope you have understood the concept. Okay, let me take one more question. And now trial of experiment is rolling a die. When we roll a die, you tell me what are the possible outcomes. Possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Now we will be doing certain interesting uh, cases here. So you are going to tell me the total number of outcomes is 6. Now you tell me what is the probability of getting an even number. Interesting. So you tell me how many possible cases are there? Two, four, or six. So there are three possible cases. So what will what is the answer? Three divided by how many total are there? Six. So three by six gives us one by two. Please remember that in examination, you need to write down the formula. Next is we have to find out probability of getting an odd number. What is the probability of getting an odd number? Tell me. How many odd numbers are there? Yes, one, three, and five. So how many of them are there? So what is the possible, uh, this uh, favorable outcomes? Favorable outcomes are three, and total outcomes are six. So we get answer as three upon six, that is again one upon two. Fine. Okay, tell me what is the probability of getting a number more than five? Think and tell. Read the question carefully. Probably find the probability of getting a number more than five. So what is the total number of favorable outcomes? Yes, only one outcome is there, that is 6. So 1 divided by total outcomes are 6. Answer is 1 by 6. Okay, I'm asking another one. What is the probability of getting a number equal to or more than five equal to or more than five what will be the answer yes there are two possible cases either you get a five or a six that will be favorable so answer is two upon six so this is one upon three i hope this is clear to all of you Okay, let me take uh, another interesting uh, experiment. So here, we are now taking a pair of dice. Okay, now I would be sharing with you a term before I, you know, start with the experiment on pair of dice. We use a term sample space so basically what is a sample space sample space is a collection of all the possible outcomes so how do we write we write this as you need to use the curly brackets and in the curly brackets separated by commas write down all the possible outcomes 
right? So if I have to roll a pair of dice, let us see what possible outcomes are there. And remember one thing, you have now idea of what is an ordered pair. So when we roll a pa pair of dice, then obviously we will be having uh, uh, two set of values and we represent that by the help of an ordered pair. So outcome can be one comma one. That is on, it means on both the dice, we are getting one. Put a comma and then one comma two, that is another possibility. So one comma three, so you have got the clue that on the first dice, we are now assuming that we are getting one. And on the second dice, there can be either one, two, three, or can be four, there can be five, or there can be six. And see how we are writing it. So this is how we write a sample space. We use curly brackets and within curly brackets, we write down all the possible outcomes. Now, what is the next possibility? Next is, okay, I'm just copying this to save some time. Let me see. And what will be the next possibility? That on the first dice, you have uh, two. And on the second dice, you have either one or two or three or four or five or six. So these are six more possible cases. Basically, we call them as outcomes when we roll a pair of dice. Okay, what is the third next possibility? That on the first dice, you get three. And on the second dice, again, you have either one or two or three or four or five or six. I hope it is clear. Now you tell me how many total such cases would be there? Yes, now we are to we have to write by taking on the first dice four and on the second dice we have either one or two or three or four or five or six. Okay. Now similarly we go. And on the first dice, we have five. And on the second dice, we have either one or two or three. Or we get four. Then five. Or we get six. And interesting questions can be asked using this sample space. And what is the... Last case, that on the first dice, you have a six. And on the second dice, you have either one or two or three or four or five or six. Now you tell me how many possible outcomes are there. And just close it. Close the bracket. So tell me total possible outcomes yes answer is 36 so you see that these are the 36 possibilities when we roll a pair of dice just observe all these uh, possibilities these are the outcomes now i'm going to ask a simple question When we roll a pair of dice, what is the probability that we get same number on both the dice? Observe the cases. We get the same numbers on both the dice. Yes, tell me. So one case is 1-1. One, one. Another case is 2-2. Two, two. 
Then next is we get 3, 3. Next possibility, 4, 4. Then 5, 5. And last is 6, 6. So what are the total possible outcomes? It is 36. And what are the favorable outcomes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. What is the probability of getting same number on both the dice? So let me write down this. So the question is, here let me write down, rolling a pair of dice. And what is the first question? You need to find the probability of getting same number on both the dice. Okay, tell me total outcomes. You know what is what is the total number of outcomes? Total outcomes is 36. And favorable outcomes. What is the number of favorable outcomes? Favorable outcomes is, we have counted, 6. So what is the answer of probability? Therefore, probability is, what is the formula? Total number of favorable outcomes divided by total possible outcomes of the experiment. So this will be 6 divided by 36. That gives us 1 upon 6. Right. Okay. Uh, coming back to the previous slide. Now you tell me. Just observe this data carefully. A pair of dice is rolled. Find the probability of getting even number on the first dice. Listen to the question again. Find the probability of getting even number on the first dice. So you see that you will not be taking the first six outcomes because you have odd number that is one on the first dice. But you are going to consider 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. Similarly, you will not consider the next six terms because it has 3, which is odd, on the first dice. So you are going to consider next six terms because you have even number 4 on the first dice. Then again, you are going to leave the next six terms. And finally, you will be considering 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3. Okay, here it should be 6, 4. And 6, 5 and 6, 6. Right. So can you tell me what is the total number of favorable outcomes? 6 plus 6 plus 6. That is 18. And how many total outcomes are there? 36. So what is the probability of getting an even number on the first dice? 18 upon 36. So let us finalize this. I am writing the solution. So let me first correct this. This is 6, 4. Okay. So the next question I am going to write on the next slide. So what we have to get? Probability of getting even number on first dice. On the first dice. So total outcomes is 36 and favorable outcomes is 18. So probability will be 18 upon 36. That is 1 upon 2. Interesting. I hope uh, you have understood the concept of probability. 
so in my next uh, class i will be taking some more questions which are based on the concept of probability till then you revise whatever we have done in this class have a nice day bye bye take care